Hi, first graders. It's Mrs. Seaton. Welcome to content time. We are going to be talking about timelines again this week. So let's take a look at all of the things that we learned about timelines last week. So we talked about that we use a timeline to show the events of a person's life, to show important events in history, or to sequence things that have happened. Remember, sequence means that we put them in order, just like how we put the pictures of the cars in order. So we started with a car from the past all the way to a car from the present. We also talked about how we need to make sure that we have a title like this timeline does, Explorer's Timeline. That way it helps us know what the timeline is about. So I know that this timeline is all about explorers. We also talked about how we can include the dates or the years to help us know what is happening. So when I look at Dr. Seuss's timeline, I can see that in 1937, he wrote his first book. If the year wasn't on there, I wouldn't know when he wrote his first book. So those are very important to have. We also can add pictures and sentences to help us know what is happening in the timeline. So whenever this kid made the timeline of his life, he drew a picture and then he wrote a sentence about what was happening. So this week, you are going to be making your own time, timeline. So first, let's think, how do we make timelines? So we need to think of important events. We need to write them in the order that they happened. Then we're going to use labels, those are the years, that tell us when the events happened. We're gonna include a title and pictures or symbols. So I made my own timeline, so let's look at it. Up at the top, you can see all of my pictures. So I want you to look at those and see if you can put them in the right order. Which picture came first, second, third, fourth, and fifth? I'm gonna give you a second to think about it and then we'll see if you got it right. Okay, let's see. So remember, here is our timeline, and a timeline looks just like a number line. Then we're going to add those pictures. So hopefully you knew that the first picture needed to be of when I was a baby, and then the next one was when I was at school, when I was little, and then the next picture is another picture from school, and another one is from when I graduated, and then the last picture is from the present. But something that I can add to my timeline to help you understand it better are the years. So I'm gonna include the years so I know when those happen. So let's click again. There are the years. So I know that in 1990, that's when I was a baby. The first picture from me at school is 1996. The next picture from me, at, from me in school is 2000. And then the picture from graduation is 2009. And the picture from the present is 2019. I also included my title, Timeline of My Life. But something else that I could add to help make our timeline or to help make my timeline easier for you to understand are sentences about each picture. So the first picture says, I was born on July 16, 1990. The next one says, this was my first day of kindergarten. The next picture says, I was performing in the talent show when I was in fourth grade. The picture from graduation says, this is me and my favorite teacher when I graduated from high school. And the last picture says, we took family pictures during the summer. So I got my pictures, I put them in order, I put a title, I added labels, which are the years, and then I added sentences about each picture. So now it's your turn, I want you to give it a try. 
So you're going to be making a timeline this week. So you are going to find, so you can have your parents help you find five pictures or you can draw five pictures. You need to have one picture from when you were a baby, one picture from when you were a toddler, like two or three years old, and the next one from when you were in preschool, and then one from kindergarten, and the last picture is from the present when you were in first grade. Then you need to make sure you put them in order. You're going to add a label for each picture. Remember, those are the years. And then you're going to write a sentence about each picture. So I want you guys to be creative. You can decide how you want to make this. So I'm going to show you some examples. Remember, we already looked at this picture of the kid who made his timeline. He drew a picture and then he wrote a sentence about it. So his timeline is all on the same page. So you can make your timeline like that. Or here's an example of a friend who was in first grade last year. She used one, this paper for each picture. So she put her picture at the top and then she wrote her sentence about it. And then she glued her pieces of paper in order. So you get to decide how you want to make your timeline. You can do it on one piece of paper. You can do it with this piece of paper and use a bunch of them. It is your choice, but you just have to make sure that your timeline has all of these things. I am so excited to see pictures of how your timelines turn out. Have a great week, first graders. Make sure you send pictures of those timelines to your teachers. I can't wait to see them.